Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new server. We are jumping in again and we are gonna go as... I want to play a vanilla character, but I'm not sure what. We've got quite, actually quite a lot of characters done now. It's it's kind of crazy that we're, we're, we're really getting there. We're really getting there. Let's play Jacob and Ezao. We, we, we love to hate them. Uh, we really need to get rock bottom, so we need to do boss rush. Oh no, wait, we've got rock bottom. Um, we need to do hush... Delirium, Mega Satan. So we'll try and do a Mega Satan run, I guess, and see how it goes. Obviously, these guys are, um, in a word, completely poo poo, car car, doo doo, everybody hates them. But, but, oh wow. Okay, okay, very, very nice. I mean, not a very good golden penny off the bat, I'll admit, but also not terrible. Not terrible. And we get the worst card we can possibly get here as well. Very nice. But yeah, I'm I'm, I'm ready for some Isaac King today. I'm ready for some Isaac King. And because of that, Jacob and Ezao, it shall be. We shall hope that it shall not perish in turmoil and sadness. That run, the run that is. Oh, there, there. The run that is. God damn, I cannot speak. I'm speaking in riddles and it's confusing my brain. Right, just, just stop with your weird movements. Thank you. God damn. Hopefully our item rooms bequeath us many riches and we'll see what we can get going on. Ooh, Double keys is kind of nice. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. Doesn't matter who it goes to realistically. Um, it's very nice to have though, definitely. Getting some extra protection. Bombs is good here as well. Probably should have bombed that poof, but Oh well, uh, secret room is likely to be right here, so let's try it out. There you go. And we get this guy. So we also got a hanged man. Um, I think if we do this, we can get all of the rewards available in this room. Okay, so we'll take that as you. Good to know we've got soul heart for both. And we will take hanged man in case there is something we want to get with flight. In fact, there's something in this room we want to get with flight, so... I can go and grab that right now. It's only a bomb, but every little helps, I suppose. And then shop. Uh, snake oil doesn't do a hell of a lot for us. I think we'll just buy the soul heart. Uh, snake oil is fine, but it's it's like fine when you get it as a boss item, and it works pretty well with some builds. But I think it's not something you'd want to spend money on, right? I don't know. As for the um, as for the question of the day, what's a, what's an animal or creature you think gets a really bad rap that a lot of people really dislike? And it's really not very found, not very well founded. The dislike for them. Good old toy drums. We'll give that to you. Um, and we are trying to do Mega Satan here. Uh, I guess we could also do Mother, but I always find Mother really difficult as these guys, just because of the way that the um, alt path floors uh, set up the rooms. I find everything just feels so cramped as these guys. Got a bunch of hippity hoppity fools here. We do have half decent uh, devil deal protection, but we are still going to try and go for angel deal here. Uh, pff, absolutely fantastic here. Um, I think we give this to you. Because of the burn heart, but... means you've got very, very good damage. Actually, it's good we gave it to him, because it, it just means toy drums even better. Because heal spur will ramp up our damage and then... Um, toy Drum will double it on occasion, so I think that works out pretty well between the two of them. I think that's the, the right choice there. Good old Botfly. Botfly's doing work right now. Honestly, I feel feel like this run's very strong so far, but that doesn't mean anything with these guys, because I could so easily just perish. It's not Secret Room, surprisingly. I really thought that was. I mean, we've got plenty of bombs to work with here, so it's not exactly... A big waste. I mean, it is a bit of a waste, but it's not a huge waste. I do not like this. Situation. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I knew I was losing my burn heart there, or lose, losing air heart at least. I could just feel it. Um, Voodoo Head's very good for that chief, but it's just not super useful for us. I think I'll take another one for you, and I think I, I'll take Voodoo Head anyways. I just... Eh. I don't see it being super useful, just because... I suppose we could take half a heart on one character and half a heart on the other, and in that sense, it's useful. But until we get, like, flight on one of the characters, it's not great. Oh, for f I did not see that bomb coming at all. 
So that soul height we just bought is now gone, but at least we bought it. At least it was it was there to deplete. Really not a fan of the, the jumpy pumpy spiders that just have a really hard time actually getting an angle on them that feels okay to not get instantly died on. Instantly hit on even, not instantly died. Dude, come on now. This this room is fucking awful. Not only that, but this this big boy had to be a champion, did he? The guy with the chasey little tail, he had to be a champion. Right, first of all, let's try and... Get rid of the little spiders. My god, that was horrible. So, I don't know, health-wise, I'm feeling like it's probably pretty bad right now. I think, luckily, we've been able to buy a good amount of HP, so it's not awful. But I don't think it's great. Okay, ooh, I, I really need to destroy some of these poops, actually, because they're very much in the way. That was just... That was just ridiculously stupid. Ooh, ooh, I've got my devil deal protected. Yeah, you would if you could not get hit for five seconds. I hate these characters so goddamn much. I mean, I'm not playing very well, so... There's that, but shut up. <laughs> right, there are some red hearts back over there. Let's go and pick them up. I hate these characters with a burning passion. Anyone that likes them is a sadist. And outright just wrong. There's that key back at least. Good, good. Right. So whoever got hit can at least grab this. Yeah, I thought it would have been you. Right, where the hell is secret room then? Not either of those, which is where I was hoping it would be. It's not up from here. It's not there. I don't actually know where it is, you know. Guess it could be here. I'll try it out. I've got plenty of bombs, so... It's not. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. I don't care. It's... It's somewhere. It's certainly somewhere, but not, not anywhere I care to find. Right. We're going for Hush and Mega Satan this time around, if we can get Angel deals, that is, which is a big, big if right now, because not having a Soul Heart protection right now puts us in a obviously pretty dire spot. These these enemies can be really horrible as well. Hey, stop spewing. Stop spewing. Now this looks secret roomy to me. There you go, baby. There you go. Find it on a floor. Where? Excuse me? Maybe I have to blow this guy up for the uh, piece of keys to spawn. Whatever. Ooh, okay, this is a bit tricky. It's not that bad, actually, especially with Botfly helping us out here. It's not ideal. Okay, good. Got through that okay. So there's our cash rooms there. Relatively happy with my choice here. Got a luck upgrade as well, that's good. The Balrog head. Excuse me. Uh, how does this work exactly? I like the way that Jacob can like pounce onto his head there. Yeah, how exactly does this work? I'm gonna plant a bomb and see what happens. Okay, there is a hidden ladder. There is a hidden ladder. Cool, we got a half decent active item here, that's good. Okay, we'll come back for that if we find more red hearts. Yeah, not a fan of this. That that worked out fantastically well. I guess I'll just pick that up. There's no real downside to having that right now. These guys are gonna throw a poison everywhere if I don't kill them quickly. So let's do exactly that. Uh, we've not seen item room yet, so I'm not going to use my key just yet, although I would very much like to. Do you know what? Let's just go and beeline the boss just in case, see if we can get a devil deal. We can't. Unfortunately, we can't. I'm really, really, really bad at this boss when I don't have twice the hitbox. Luckily, he's not doing the horrible attacks he normally does, so this isn't too bad. Okay, he didn't do the horrible attack, so we, we actually did manage to make make it through that. Also got a Mr. Dolly, of which I think I will still take on you. I just beefing up your fire rate seems like the best idea here. And then you can take both of those. 
and then heal up there. Probably should have gone to my cash room first, which is a bit of a downside on, on my behalf there. But let's go back and try and find item room. We got into one cash room at least. I feel like that's pretty good. Health is looking good on either side now. We've got our angel deal potential going, which a li little bit delayed on that one floor behind them where I'd want to be, obviously, but it's not the end of the world. We can still we can still achieve what we want to achieve here. Good old Farmer Jackson here. I didn't realise he threw bombs. Cheeky lighter. Got you. Yeah, having having our boy here have like super good damage and super good fire rate is quite nice. And then I think at this point we can give that to you. Okay, careful for the jumpy boys. There you go. Not a problem. Excuse me. I said die, sir. No tinted rocks at the moment though, which is surprising. Thought I would have seen at least one or two by now. Okay. We are absolutely wrecking everything right now. It's, it's quite beautiful. Okay, these are the electric guys. It's not really up to me whether I dodge these guys or not. With the hitbox that we're dealing with and the way that these guys fire. Can they die? Can it die, please? There you go. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Sack room here has nothing in it of interest. Suppose we could always go sack room if we feel like we're not going to get our next key piece, uh, our second key piece out. We'll definitely get one, I think, but getting the second one's always a little bit trying. I do like the head of Balrog. It's, it's very nice. It's no Bob's rotten head, but... Ooh, hello, soul. Soul of me. Oh, you fat bitch. Oh my god, everything's over gaps at the minute. Talking of Bob's Ron head. Ah. You couldn't have done me a solid there, could you, game? Where's that item room? We definitely haven't seen our item room yet, right? I'm not, not going bonkers here, right? Okay, we haven't been this way. I couldn't remember where we had and hadn't been, so... It's getting a little bit confusing. You alright, Mr. Spewer? Extra bomb, lovely. Okay, that didn't really work the way I hoped it would, but the fires linger, so we're going to deal some damage regardless. There you go, he killed himself. Nice. Converts red poop to regular poop. Again, there's no point to not taking that. It's not good, but... It's at least better to have it than to not, I guess. Right. Of course, the all popped up at that side. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Extra key. Item room, what are you? Do not know what that is. I have legitimately no idea. Spirit Bum. Picks up nearby soul hearts and spawns... I'm sorry, but there is not a single instance in which I would ever pick that up. <laughs> I don't know what these, the, the stones that it produces are, uh, like, power-wise. I don't know how good they are. But there is 0% chance that I'm, <laughs> I'm going to find out. Because, goddamn, giving up potential soul hearts on the floor is, uh, no. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Milkshake, but that's a, that's a hard pass for me. I mean, he is quality 0, so I get it. He's, he's kind of one of those items that's kind of designed specifically for Curse of the Blind. Like, no one's going to willingly take that, but it's going to be cool when you get it sometimes on a Curse of the Blind run. It's going to screw you over, but it's also going to be a bit of fun. So I get it as an item. No, no disrespect to it. There needs to be bad items so the good items feel better. You can't just have good items. And also, it seems like, I don't know what the stones that it gives are, but it seems bad but interesting, which is if you're ever going to make an actually bad item, you've at least got to make it interesting too. Because then, uh, think like soy milk. Soy milk is generally classified as a bad item, but it's a very interesting item that has a lot of potential. Doesn't mean that it's outright the worst item sort of thing. I like that. I think that, I think that design philosophy is the way that people need to be going about it when designing items. You can't have every single item in your item pack be good, because otherwise it throws off the balance of the game. You've got to have a good mixture of everything. But at the same time, you don't just want to make bad items that are just like, uh, point two speed up, but like, 
tears down sort of thing. Like, that's just boring. No one wants that. It's just dull. Lovely. Yeah, I'm really liking the Balrog's head for just setting up a fire and uh, having it go to town. But yeah, we're doing okay at the minute. I would like more health overall, but I can only dream. Secret room again is unfortunately not very good. Um, I will check out this, though. Judgment. I will pop in here. Tower. I'll pop in this big room over here. Yeah, that didn't really do what I wanted it to. Oh, no. We've gotten disjointed here. That's okay, actually. That kind of worked out fine. And then little red boy. Okay, so we want to go... Boom. Tinted rocks. Anybody? Anybody for some tinted rocks? No. Wow. Not getting a tinted rock from one of those is especially unlikely. It's annoying. I love that as well. It just kills the ones that it spawns. Yeah, you puke out some spiders, but we can insta-kill them. I'm trying to line my guys up, but... A little difficult. Stay together, boys. The spider webs are like proper screwing us over here. Alright. There's more bombs about for later. Although some of them are a little bit harder to get to than others, meaning we need flight. Also, do the fires block shots as well? That'd be a nice addition if they did. I guess we'll never know. Okay. Do you need more keys as well? I'd like to go to the shop this floor. And then we got Bouncy Bouncy Boy here. Oh, but yes, I have actually been, uh, like, there's a there's a YouTuber that I've been watching for a long time now. Uh, actually, has a random horse pill effect. Interesting. Ooh, yes, baby. Okay, I think, again, honestly, just give it all, give all my power to you. Random horse pill effect, why not? Oh, good old, big old range down. Bombs are key. Shot speed up, it's not not terrible. But yeah, um, YouTuber I watch called Jolts Dude, um, anyone that likes uh, Borderlands will have heard of him. Does uh, a lot of Borderlands videos. He, he recently put out a video talking about a mod that he's in the middle of making with some modders. Uh, that's going to be a Borderlands roguelike, so you best believe whenever that comes out that we will be doing a series on it. That's going to be a lot of fun. I love Borderlands, um, and having a, a roguelike base on it sounds like a lot and a lot of fun, because it just, the mechanics of the game already lend themselves so nicely towards roguelikes that it just, it seems like it's going to make a lot of sense and be a lot of fun. Really have to go all the way around here to make you pop up. You're a bit of a dick, aren't you? Oh, really? Okay, into the shop. Well, this is definitely good. Um, and then, yeah, we'll take that as well. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm going to say options for the extra boss item, obviously very, very good. Seen pretty much everything we need to see this floor. Get that Balrog head going. Ooh, you tried to brimstone me. How how scary. How ooky spooky. But yeah, I gotta say, it's, it's something that I've had the idea of myself before about it'd be super cool if Borderlands had a... Um, Borderlands had a roguelike mode. Oh, really? That didn't grab both? I mean, it's fine. Old bandage isn't exactly the best, but... <sighs> Good old Dead Sea Scrolls. Shouldn't have used Dead Sea Scrolls there. Technically could have gotten a teleport there and it would have screwed us out of our key piece, but... I'm a gambler, baby. I take risks. But yeah, the, ga the gameplay just lends itself so heavily towards roguelikes that it just makes so much sense. In fact, I actually did, like, when Borderlands 3, for anyone that doesn't like Borderlands, this is gonna, this is gonna go straight over your head, but if you don't like Borderlands, oh, why? Um, but, uh... In, when Borderlands 3 was being, like, teased and announced, they were talking about these, like, rift things you could do. 
um, where, like, these challenge runs where it'd be, like, diff more difficult enemies in a specified zone that you'd run through, and it'd be, like, different every time, and I was like, oh my god, it sounds so good, it sounds like a proper roguelike mode, and it came out, and it was, it was not even remotely close to what I was thinking it would be, and it was so disappointing. It's literally just, like, a little area that you run through, like, once, and then you've basically seen it all, and you kill a boss at the end, and you get some mediocre loot, and I was like, oh, this could have been something so cool. Could have been something, man. More speed. Oh, what time are we on? 16 minutes? Eh, uh, boss rush isn't looking great, but we should be okay for hush, I think. We don't need boss rush, luckily, so... We've got one angel piece now, though, which I'm very, very pleased about. Necronomicon. Lovely. You like to see Necronomicon right as you walk in. Daddy Long Legs. Doesn't matter which one we give this to. Very good stuff. Ooh, that was kind of close. I'm, I actually I actually do like Dead Sea Scrolls as an item. The, the problem is obviously just unpredictability and there's a few items in the pool that are a bit meh. I do wish they'd add more items to the pool with the updates, because it hasn't been changed with, like, all the updates the game's had. Like, from what I know, it can't pull from modded items either, and I don't know if that's a hard restriction of the item or if modders just need to set that as a parameter. But I I'd like it if, um, if there was an update to Dead Sea Scrolls to have it, for one, remove some of the really annoying uh, active items in there, like teleports, and two, add in some actually useful ones. Um, like modded items and then other ones that it doesn't currently have available to it. I think that'd be cool. Lovely bit of moolah. Don't think I want that right now. I like the idea of those and I like like the fact that they're a, I'm able to choose if I want to use it. On some runs I just don't need luck. But I also really don't need money that bad this run, so... Yeah, having two two-room charge actives is pretty nice here. It's a boss time. We've seen our item room. We haven't seen our shop. We don't have the money, so let's just go for this. Probably should have got my actives ready for this boss fight rather than using prior. Right, sorry about that. Let's continue on. My girlfriend's been building um, a Lego camera for the past, like, three hours. <laughs> she got it for her birthday for one of our friends. She's really into cameras, so... And she uh, isn't great at Lego, but she's done it. <laughs> I wouldn't say she isn't great, she just hasn't done much Lego before. Um, right, it's kind, of, it's kind of just like Ikea, right? Uh, other way around, other way around. You want the extra damage. You want the booster pack. Boom. We did it this time. Troll. Judgment. Jack of Spades. Ace of Hearts. And two of Diamonds. Okay, 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 okay. So we'll we'll take Ace of Hearts and two of Diamonds down with us. We'll see if we can make good use of the two of Diamonds on the next war. On 19 minutes now, so boss rush is pretty much off the table, but like I said, it's not a big deal that it's off the table, really. I do like the fact that enemies just don't see fire. They don't know how to track around it or anything. They're just like, nope. I'm gonna walk right into that. What's left? There's some boot enemies in here, I'm sure of it. There, there they are. Good old boot boys. They're not too hard, those enemies, really, at all. A lot of these junkyard enemies uh, are not too bad. Okay. Okay, this is a very easy room realizing now. Grab that. Quickly check this out. Okay, so we got Bookworm at least. Let's grab all of them on you. The Bible might not actually be a bad idea to take, you know. Giving us flight here and there is pretty useful for, like, curse room entry. And uh, we can kill Mum instantly, which is always nice.
What you doing, you goose? We've already got good damage as well, so I feel like Dead Sea Scrolls is kind of like, meh. It's whatever. We don't need, like, we can do this here. Fly in. And we get ourselves good old missing page. We can take that on you. And then, cool. Ooh. Extra shot speed might be somewhat useful. I haven't decided. <laughs> Alright, grab that key. Oh, stay in the corner. Yeah, is there any other games that you guys can think of that would, like, be really cool to have a roguelike mode? Because, like, one of the things that I sort of always say, ooh, that's, a, that's also a pretty good book. I don't think we need it, though. Um, one of the other things that I always say is, like, um, like, kind of like a roguelike is I, I've played a hell of a lot of Diablo 3. Uh, it's probably one of my most played games behind Isaac. Um, and Isaac only recently took it over. Um, and I, I think that one of the big reasons I like it so much is because it, like, when you get to the end game, once you've, like, maxed out your character and you're going for, like, the better builds and stuff, a lot of the gameplay loop is very roguelike-ish. Like, you, there's, there's, there's still that sense of meta progression because you're still, like, building up your builds and you don't lose everything every run, but you go through rifts and all the rifts are basically, it's a randomized area with randomized enemies and randomized bosses. And it's, it's, it's different each time. And I think that aspect of it is really what spoke to me. And it's why, after playing Diablo 3 so much, that I branched out into roguelikes so much for YouTube, but also just in terms of my enjoyment of games. And it's, it's probably one of the big reasons I also like Warzone so much as well. I play a lot of Battle Royales and Warzone's my main one. And Warzone's kind of like a roguelike. I mean, it, the, the, the term roguelike, obviously I'm using loosely here, but it, it, it kind of is if you think about it. Soul Cleaver. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take Soul Cleaver out of the Bible. And I'm going to... I'm going to use it in the book room to get a bunch of item wisps. Uh, but yeah, if you think about it, a, a, a roguelike... Uh, a roguelike... Is, uh, sorry, a, ba a battle royale, uh, especially like what Warzone is, you jump into a into a map, um, every single player in the lobby is players you likely have never played with before. Um, you start with absolutely nothing, and you have to build up money and resources to be able to collect better upgrades to then make it to the last circles, which is effectively like your final boss. It's 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 interesting. I think it sort of works the same way. Functionally. Gimme all those, gimme all those, gimme all those. Right. Away we go to the boss. We're pretty slow on this floor, but it's okay. I think we'll be alright. So many items lying around. We only we had more charges. Now then, boss man. Okay. You burn, burn, burn. In fact, I should stand on these fires, really, shouldn't I? So that she steps on them. Nah. Not for long, though. Good. Here's a second angel deal, and we do have the prerequisites for that. Lovely stuff. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Good old crown of light. Lovely. So we've got one guy with like three damage and the other one with 67 if a toy uh, drum goes off. It's pretty funny. Right, we've got our key made. Lovely. So Mega Satan is on the table for us at this point. Um, I Like I said, I would very much like to do Hush as well, so we need to hustle our bustle a little bit. We're on 23 minutes at the minute. We should be fine, but that's not guaranteed to be fine. Okay. Try and speed along. Uh, we should, should use our two of diamonds now. I used the wrong... I used my Ace of Hearts there by accident. Oops. Probably should have used that by now already, to be honest. I just kind of forgot about it. Right. Not quite sure why everything just kind of died there, but I shall accept it. Right. I'm hoping I'm going the right way here. Lots of, lots of large rooms is normally a good sign. 
I'm liking the insane amount of damage we have right now. It's feeling very, very good. We are just walking through rooms. Whoever discovered this little cheeky room design is, is a, a bastard. Where it can like slit the shots right through the middle of those gaps. A very cheeky bit of room design there. It's very clever. Oh, ah, what? As if I got hit there. At least it went the right way. Oh god, my daddy's long legs. My daddy long legs leg really freaked me out there. Another angel deal. Wasn't expecting that. Um. Good. Uh, there isn't a way to, to to get two of these at once, is there? Uh, to be fair, there's not really any of these that I want two at once. Actually, no, we can get we can get scapula and um, thingy. So we do this and this, and then go. Yeah, there you go. Okay, health is looking very good right now. A lot more so than I would have expected. 24 minutes. We've got 5 minutes to... Uh... Oh, we've got marked for some reason. I'm unsure where that came from. Oh, is that my Lemmageddon heart? God damn it. It is. This room's very bad for us. We're getting very, very easily disjointed. Luckily... It's on the character that does a lot of damage, so you just focus on them. And we shall be fine. Eternal Heart there that I completely missed. Honestly, I don't even need it. I'm not even going to go back for it. It's a waste of time. Man, I'm not liking having marked right now. This is really throwing me off my game. Really throw me off my game. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm getting hit loads now. I can't focus on not getting hit because I'm focusing on where the fuck I'm meant to be shooting. It's very frustrating. Oh, god damn. Why are you gonna give me rooms like this as these characters, please? Okay. Good, good. At least we're destroying the rooms as we go through them. At least we're going the wrong way, literally, constantly. Oh my god, this is very annoying. I'm meant to be speeding up, not slowing down. I just want to do hushy hushy. Luckily, very, very easy rooms ahead of us right now. Luckily, another wrong way taken. Oh, and it's it's not only a wrong way, it's a wrong way with an extra bit on it. Um, removes the negative effects use... Okay. Kind of interesting. Very specific, I guess. It should drop them when you pick it up, maybe. Can we skip the last phase? Yes, we can. That's, that's like your DPS check. Right. Sensor is unfortunately absolutely garbage. I should have used um, my soul cleaver there, but it could have given us the sensor. So, ah, oh, we've not really we've not really got many keys here. Shit, I didn't didn't realize that. Um, eight percent chance to turn some enemies to weaker version of themselves. We can. I mean, we can take both, can't we, sir? Why not? I like the way that like. Jacob has just become like a buffer Ezo. Tractor beam, lovely. And then we want to give that back to you. Give that to you. And we'll check out the shop.
Hey, we got some keys here. Good stuff. Oh, squeezy. Okay, um, I think I take it on you. No, I take it on you. Take both of those on you. Roll of film. Guess I'll get, give that to you as well. Right. Don't know how this is going to go, but we'll see. Is he still in baby form? Damn, die, my guy. Yeah. Okay. Tractivine means everything gets funneled into one lane here for both characters, I'm pretty sure, so... That helps with firing, at least. This is probably going to be a fairly slow process. Luckily, with the mark, uh, with mark, sorry, we can kind of sit back and relax a little bit. We can just focus on dodging. Rather nice. Oh. Yeah, sort of back to the conversation I was talking about earlier. There must be so many games where, like, that, making them into a roguelike is so plausible and, like, would be a lot of fun. I mean, roguelikes are a pretty big genre nowadays. It's kind of niche when Binding of Isaac first came out, or at least somewhat niche, and it's, it's obviously changed a lot since then. Low battery. Some fires in on there. This this kill isn't particularly quick, unfortunately. We're getting there. I should be moving a lot more as well, to be fair, to keep my damage up. I didn't really think about that. I'm stood still. My damage is like 25, yeah. I need to be moving to keep my damage high. Luckily, I can just kind of run circles around him and it'll keep aiming at him for me. These guys just kind of die passively to God knows what. Okay, we've got them under halfway now. Yeah, definitely moving around is the key here. Also, Extinction Event. Really, really good item. Uh, just dropping nukes all over the place. They do destroy rocks as well, so it can be useful in there, uh, like finding secret rooms and um, blowing up tinted rocks on regular rooms. You can see it's just random sizes of meteors falling constantly. And as you saw earlier as well, they don't deal any damage to us, so it's, it's a lot more usable than you initially think. I swear it did use to deal damage to you, and then they changed it. I can't remember. It makes sense if they did. Do we have Parasitoid Tears on top of all of this? Yes, we do. It's hard to tell because we've got slowing effects on our tears, and we've got um, growing tears, so it's kind of hard to tell which one's the Parasitoid Tears and which ones are the other tears. It's very confusing, but there you go. We're, we're pretty much done now. Another 10 or, so, 10 or so seconds of this if he doesn't go underground constantly, which of course he does. There you go, we got him. Vanishing Twin. Lovely. An item that I've seen a total of like two times ever. Right, we can go whichever way we want here. Uh, we're going to go Mega Satan, so we'll take this way. Not a bad run, though. Not a bad run. I just love how our characters are basically both ease out now. This guy didn't even get a chance to be invincible. And we got something new. Plus one life while intact. Isaac responds with plus one solar after 10 seconds of invincibility on death. The rev um, can revive Isaac once per floor, blocks three projectiles before shattering, minus one luck while shattered. Kind of interesting. I like the idea. Ooh, it's actually like a physical thing that follows us around so you can see when it's uh, near to shattering. That's kind of cool. All right, we need four keys, obviously. Let's try and grab those when we can. Shouldn't have two out of time here. Got to sort of work around marked a little bit. Luckily, marked plus uh, track to be really fun. Because basically, if you've got high enough fire rate, which luckily we do, you can basically make a sword out of your tears and just slice across the entire room. More keys, lovely. Oh, my key beggar stole it, you bastard. No, 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 no. Rude little fucker. 
He thinks he's big boss man. He thinks he can do what he wants. Ain't happening. We'll have three keys by now if it wasn't for him. Trying to stand in the middle of the room when I beat it so that I'm closer to the key. There you go, look at that, that's how you do it. Gotta kind of be ready and waiting. Ah, that one I couldn't get because there's all this shit, yeah. And I got hit for it as well, it's fun. Soul hearts, lovely. Health has been really good this uh, this run. Apart from like right near the start. Do not, do not, do not, do not like anything about this room. What the hell is this? This is horrible. Beautiful stuff. Okay, we only got three keys, unfortunately. We would have got a fourth if it wasn't for our cheeky little bastard stealing them, but this will do for now. Right. It looks like we are basically good to go. Function event is ready. Right, now we just got to not get hit on our boy and lose our double damage, which is... Eh, not going to be super easy. Yeah, there you go. We just lost it. Oh, no, did we? No, no, no. I think it's still going. We got hit on that other guy there. Just got to be careful about where we stand at the moment. I mean, luckily, these guys are just getting literally insta-killed. Beautiful damage. That faster death animations are so nice as well there. Lovely second phase. Quick and simple. Just trying to keep moving. I'm very unaware of what's happening right now. It's all a bit confusing. The extinction event's doing good stuff, apparently, so that's good at least. Oh, we. I was like, why aren't I shooting at him anymore? I've lost marks. So I'm just not shooting. I just let go of the fire key. Stupid. So like, what's going on? Yeah, I lost marks. <laughs> kind of forgot that could happen. I kind of forgot it wasn't just part of our run. Anyways, that's him nice and roasted and toasted. Good stuff. And we did get the delirium fight as well, so we'll try that out. We'll see how this goes. If we get this knocked off as well, that'd be very, very good. Kind of sad to lose Mark now, you know. It was so good. Allowing us to shoot at an angle like that. I liked that. It was very useful. I mean, we're still killing it, obviously, but there's a loss we didn't need. Okay. Rooms like this are a little annoying. I'd like mapping, but probably ain't going to get it. Dead. Okay, tech two with this guy is like a really good idea. Obviously, our fire rate gets lowered, but our damage is so high and our base fire rate is so high that the damage from the laser is going to be incredible. Good, good. Oh, one of those ghosts got me. Are you kidding? I don't really care if I find delirium first here, so I'm just going for it. Ooh. Um... This is probably worth 
taking for you? Yeah, just getting a bunch of random bomb synergies plus additional bombs seems like a really good idea. Just jumped out of nowhere. Two more bosses here, lovely. Doesn't matter who takes what here. Apparently you just wanted that quarter really bad. You can wait. Okay, unfortunately this guy has boss armor, so there's not much we can do to insta-kill him. He will do his dive towards us in a second as well, which I do not like. Okay. Taken care of, maybe? I think I've got some wisps that I don't understand here, some items that I've not seen before. Um, Placebo is obviously not something we care about, so let's just take that. Looks like my trophy thing has shattered. Oh no, it's, it, it regens per room, maybe, it looks like. So it was shattered in that room, and now it's not. I don't know. I'm not going to pretend to know the inner workings of this thing. I'm going to pretend to know nothing. Okay, another bomb. Butt bombs. Good, good. More bomb things we can get, the better. Not quite as good as the Bombonomicon, but it's a similar style. In a similar vein. Should take this for good cards. Or a damager. Wasn't expecting that. Come on, last boss. Well, please be the last boss, actually. Ghost Bombs. Oh, Ghost Bombs is very good. More bombs. Lovely. Yeah, this was not the last boss. God damn it. Stapler versus HP. Good. Ooh, wait. Ooh. I've just... I've just majorly fucked up there. I've got Tech 2 plus Stapler, so I no longer have Tears. I've just lowered my damage astronomically. The really, really annoying interaction. That got me. Are you kidding? Oh, yeah. Our damage is so much worse now. Okay, we are, we are still firing tears, though. Like, on occasion. It's not like a completely gone. I mean, the damage is still very good. <laughs> but it's like ha literally half what it was before, pretty much. I always forget about that interaction with Tech 2, because Tech 2 closes one eye and Stapler closes the other. But we're still absolutely destroying, so I, I really don't think it's cause for concern. Surprise pod, I think we need that. Okay, cool. Last boss? Nope. We got this and the... We need to go sideways. Passively spawns a de uh, special dirt patch in every secret room. If used elsewhere buries all keys in the room if used in that dirt patch dig up all buried keys as cracked keys that's a super cool idea don't not something i need right now that's a super cool idea though oh we got rocket in a jar that's kind of one that i didn't really want <laughs> i suppose it is useful but right down this way Okay, weird room there. Kind of ended as soon as I walked in. Okay, at least there's still two, 
do still fire some tears. I don't know why exactly, but it's not like they're all gone. It has to be it. It is it. Good. Holy shit, the damage. Oh my god. What is happening right now? Nancy bombs. My goodness, this is insane. I'm now realizing whenever I use my bombs, I'm also dropping one at my feet, which is why I was taking so much damage before. Well, that was a very, very quick and easy delirium kill, my god. What the fuck? Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. A lot and a lot of fun. A lot, a lot of fun indeed. And yeah, I will see what we unlock. I don't remember what we unlock here. Is there something good? Normally the Jacob and Ezo unlocks are pretty good, so it's got to be something good, right? Can you die already, guy? I was like, I'm all, the, I'm all the way done with my intro and you're still not dead. Right, what, what do we get for this? I don't remember. Suplex, okay, nice. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one.